and everybody gave up on her everybody including my husband who said no she's not going to survive known as nivedita's mother as uh, she is she is the one whom whom I'll be talking about right now she is a child who was born to me when i was uh, when she, she is actually when i was very early at it. at the age of uh, 21 i got married and by 23 she was she was already with me everybody gave up on her everybody including my husband who said no she's not going to survive and it was a very difficult time of for me then there was nobody for me at my backing me up and even my parents said you know she's not going to survive and i said no something she's going to come out of it she just weighed 1.2 1.2 is just as big as a small little chicken and all i could see was she's breathing the doctor support yes and uh, Uh, week by week she started uh, you know improving a bit there were so many things which uh, the, the doctor said she wouldn't do what she started doing this was giving me a lot of positive energy seeing her grow was my uh, only motivation bringing up to nivedita it was part and parcel of it with my husband he was a big support to me uh, of course initially yes there was a little bit of thing but when when Uh, when he saw her in my hands after she was about three months, both of us we just took it up and uh, we didn't. We just started uh, very playfully. We started bringing her up. The therapy used to cost me sixty rupees per every session. I didn't have that sort of a money, and so I started doing it myself. So both me and my husband used to take turns, and we didn't uh, give up on her. I was wondering how to make her stand. So in the, the school and thing, they gave us a gaiters sort of a thing, which I couldn't afford for that that time. It was something like a I used to put a scale and uh, tie tie a uh, sari around her legs. Then uh, my husband said, "Why don't you put the whole tie her fully so she wouldn't bend at all?" So I said, "Okay, fine. I tie the whole sari like a mummy, except for face, and she was fully standing up and uh, she was coming again. So that was giving her more strength. One more thing was she would enjoy going out. So when we, every time we take her in the pram. her head used to go around so uh, this was something you know which we started noticing you know and uh, we didn't stop her from doing anything like uh, uh, taking her out to parties or anything we just wouldn't keep her at home confirm her home we take her everywhere we wanted to and uh, it it happens with the support of uh, both of us working together and money is not a, a big criteria it is more of uh, your uh, way of handling the child and it came to school putting her to school it was again uh, a big task but then i was uh, blessed to have uh, the spastic society with me who had given me enough and more of uh, inputs and information and they had supported me so much which gave me a big uh, thing opening so that i could uh, you know she could also go to school so once i uh, she started going to the school i got to know that she is having cerebral palsy that's when i came to know exactly the word cp speech eyes and her uh, uh, movement everything is going to be affected we can got to know that uh, she has got eye problem the next was a speech uh, she would say one or two words and we used to understand and we used to do it so then then we got to know she's got a hearing problem the hearing after she was tested for hearing and she had put on a hearing aid her speech started coming in i used to read the newspapers for her to leave the news on so the words were getting into her once she started hearing she was able to speak don't give up on thing just don't say it's not possible it is definitely possible because you know when we when a mother thinks i didn't know she would she would come out uh, and she would do this when i thought she wouldn't study she wouldn't go to school and she not able to write because she had very flimsy fingers we did her nios 
We never thought she would do her 10th. Then it became like she's doing her 10th. Then it became she did her 12th. Then um, after that, my husband said, why can't she do the same sort of a thing sitting at home, you know? I said, no, she's going to go to college. She said, uh, I want to go to the Christ University. And that was a topmost call and he laughed at us. He said, oh, Christ, go, 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 check it out. So it was both of us who went on an online and we applied. We just applied and we got a interview card, which was one of the days, which was so, uh, we, we just couldn't believe this when it came by post. I'm so proud to tell that Nivedita has finished a BCA from the Christ University. So many challenges which we were just outgrew it and she enjoyed the, uh, going into the college uh, thing that we never allowed her to stop herself from not doing anything. Yeah, she's achieved herself during doing a piano. She's done her seventh, she's the seventh grade and she plays well. Then she said, you know, she wants to pay money and take the money back and change. So these are small things which from her, it came out from her. Then she came one day, fine day and she said, I want to learn the car which was something which just took me back a bit. She would always watch me while driving the car and that was her passion. Then uh, both of us, we just took her, so took my car, took her, sat and made her drive, told her this is how it is and she just took it off. And that was something which is so thing shocking to me. It's all a small little achievements. There's nothing that is more impossible like, you know, money is not everything and uh, it's more than that. It's the thought and it's the, uh, you know, the positive way of thinking that they can do. It's nothing that they can't do. And today she is all by herself. Uh, <laughs> just, I'm so proud to say that uh, I could just let, let her do what she is. And there's nothing I could uh, even uh, ask for more than this.